Hey guys, it's Ross going on Space Couch today. It's now part three of my Star Wars book collection, so let's get right into it. Find another couple of hardbacks. So, Vision of the Future. This was one of the Timothy Zons, and it was fantastic. Uh, I think we mentioned Spectre of the Past is also on the back cover. Admiral Thrawn, all that sort of stuff. Loved it. Now, there's also this, The Approaching Storm. This was... Um, it was like a prologue to Attack of the Clones. I recall it being vaguely interesting. Well, more than vaguely interesting. I think by this time, though, my Star Wars patience was flagging. I still bought Attack of the Clones, I <laughs> also remember. Now, back to the paperbacks. I do remember the Black Fleet Crisis being really exciting, but I can't remember what it was about. I'm just looking at it now. No. Another X-Wing book. I loved the X-Wing books. They were fantastic. What's this one? Bounty Hunter Wars. I'd forgotten about them. K.W. Jetta, obviously, he's done many uh, excellent books himself. You can see from who's on the cover of that, who's like to feature in it. So you've got Bosk and Boba Fett, the Emperor, and the Imperial Guards. Book two, I was going this in the wrong order. Book two of um, that is Slave Ship for the Bounty Hunter Wars. Uh, I can't remember if each book focused on a different bounty hunter or if it rotated through them I don't recall. I'd have to read them again I suppose. Book 7 <laughs> of X-Wing Solo Command. Book 2 Wedge's Gamble. I always loved those Imperial shuttles. It's just some of the design was just incredible. Now book 1 of that Black Fleet Crisis before the storm. So I ah, see Lobots in there. And that's one of those Mon Calamari ships, Leia and Han and Luke. What was it about though? Uh, Remnants of the Empire Lie in complete disarray, time to trying to work for the New Republic, re-emergence of the Jedi Knights. Yeah, 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 so it's not going to go well. <laughs> Book one of the Bounty Hunter Wars, the Mandalorian armor, and that can only ever be one person, Boba Fett. Tales from the Moss Eisley Cantina. Yes, this was definitely the stage where it was just proliferating like mad. And there was a new Star Wars book almost every day, it seemed like. This was probably one of the last ones I picked up. But still, it was very good. Edited by Kevin Jads, another excellent author. What's this? Ah, Book two. I think we've got had all the Black Fleet Crisis books now. This is book two. Michael P. Coop McDowell. Again, a really good author. Uh, no, I don't remember what it was about. Cloak of Deception, this will be, I guess, a prequel to episode one. Yes, yeah, Smite and Greed and Corruption, Tiger and Roxy, blah, 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 Trade Federation. Now, last one on this list for now. This, Dark Journey, New Jedi Order. This is another Yuzan Vong novel. Um, Jenna and Jason, I think it is. I can't remember. Yeah, it was the solo kid, wasn't it? Jenna and Jason. Anyway, guys, that's just the next batch. I will dig out the others and I will find those other hardbacks because it was the best ones. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming book, a topic, Star Wars related or not, that you'd like to see discussed. I like the video.